What is going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a new build. I am super excited about this. This is the FTC Otter. So uh, it took me a couple days to build this one. Definitely the hardest, most challenging build yet. Um, also it is Nikki's birthday so everyone say happy birthday to her in the comments below. Happy birthday baby. I love you. So thank you so much for filming and um, let's hope this goes well. I don't know if it's going to have enough power. Uh, we got a 28, 30, 1,000 kg motor on there. So if it doesn't have enough power, then we're gonna have to change things around. But without further ado, let's go. This thing has never touched the water or the air before, so super nervous, but super excited at the same time. Okay, it floats. Oh, it scans pretty good in the water. All right, gonna bring it around, taxi it a bit. Mm. Alright, gonna bring her back and then try to take her off. Oh, it's actually really good. Look at that. I like that. Alright, here we go in three, two, one. Bring her back to try to take her off again. That's not what I wanted to happen! What's the damage? Uh, I don't know. It got pretty wet. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Well, that was a little bit short. Shorter than expected. Maybe those guys are right about the It just thing. randomly got a little bit a little bit windy too. It like wasn't windy at all before. Ooh. That was really wet. Uh -oh. So what do you think happened? Um the thrust angle might be wrong, like those guys were saying online. Um a couple things might have happened. Let's see if it still works. Oh, it sounds like I got a couple of angry servos. Definitely doesn't seem like it's moving as much anymore. Oh yeah, my servos just died. Oh, yep. And that concludes today's video of the flight test sea otter. Mm -hmm. Ended in a little bit of failure, but you know, it happens. So we're going to try to get this thing working again, let it dry out, uh, see exactly what we can do about it. And let's get this thing unplugged so we don't see magic smoke from that ESC. All right, so I'm back. And what I think happened was I'm using a four cell 2200 milliamp battery. So possibly it could have been torque that pulled the plane over because the propeller is moving clockwise according to the cockpit. So let me know in the comments below if you think that could have happened. Also, it could have been this five degree thrust angle to the left. I was told in the build video, use a little bit of right rudder on takeoff, but it seems like that actually killed me instead of helping me out. So maybe I should have used left rudder on takeoff instead of right rudder. Also, I think I need to dial up the throw on the ailerons. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below what caused the crash and the tip over. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And peace out.